right, let me see if I can go through this in an efficient manner. Okay, first of all, I wanted to talk about uh, just conversation, public dialogue. Let's call ourselves dialecticians. Now, I have been this way my whole life, which I'm 45, that includes prior to the internet. I started online dialogue around 13 or 14 with dial-up BBSs, and it's continued from there. I feel, though, like since I did this before the internet, that I understand where people that want to have this public dialogue, how they got their fix prior to the internet, and it shapes my attitude about the internet. So, here's an interesting irony about the internet and its most wild, troll-like aspects. Okay. Now, prior to the intellect, you'd be having a conversation. Maybe I'd be conversing at a party and someone would go, Hey, we're supposed to have fun. Don't talk philosophy and politics or whatever. Right? Or maybe it's a group of people and we're discussing some politics. Maybe something's going on. Now, I always had, prior to the internet, this idea that people hide a lot of their thoughts. And so you say, Hey, wow, that's a terrible thing there. Or, or I support Snowden and, Man and Manning, what they did great. And the guy... People are like, oh, okay, yeah, and they're reading the group. Oh, yeah, I guess people are going for it. Okay. And I know in their head, they're thinking like what we would see on the internet. Stupid fag. Goddamn commie. Pot smoking heaven. <laughs> Jesus. Fag, shut up. That's what they're thinking right there. But the, yeah, that doesn't happen offline as much. Very much more rare. Very common online. But I think they're thinking it. And as people started expressing themselves online, and a bigger cross-section of the society expressed themselves online, I feel I proved correct in that. Because in this context, where people look around and they can't quite sense the crowd, and they get what they want, and the feedback, and just go nuts, and they say those things. But here's the thing. Now, in the real life, somebody that would blurt out something, probably not that extreme, but something like that, like, well, I actually don't think that is rape in that case. You know? And they're, they're kind of afraid to... It's better if they do it. Because if they're wrong, I'm comparing it with another person that thinks it, says it in their head, doesn't speak it. And they think, well, at least I'm polite. At least I don't make waves. But they're in the wrong, as far as I am concerned. This is how I'm explaining how I think now. I know y'all, y'all don't think this way. You're fucking nuts. But to me, it's better the guy that says it risks putting his foot in his mouth, either does or doesn't, realizes or not, sees it that way or not, and at least, one, that person is more likely to learn, and two, if they persist in their opinion, at least we all know where that guy's coming from when he votes on a law or for a person. It's obviously preferable to the guy that just says it in his head, and because that guy just says it and says it and says it and makes it more flowery and worse and more you know, stronger metaphors, and it could just get worse in their little poison garden of their brain. And that's of no use to anybody, them hiding it. So the internet is good because people, somehow more people are tricked into putting their foot in their mouth. So in, with that in mind, my goal here is to encourage people to say what they feel, and if they're race realists, say it. And I would do it more with people like the race realists or even the young earth creationists, but I can't be bothered to spend the time with them in, in that utility. I'm actually here to think and explore ideas, which requires that I be more towards the in the borderlands. And not back there with arguments that have been mulled over for 2,000 years already. I'll shoot back there for a visit, but pretty much I cannot bother to focus on that. Right? So I don't see myself as versus on here, or in general, me versus someone who is the someone, like socially or politically. I don't see it as the people that I politically differ with. Those are people I see that I need a conversation with to figure out a solution to the problems we both agree are happening. Who I am versus is the people with these little voices in their head that say shit that they're not going to let come out their mouth. These screaming monkeys. Because if you have a screaming monkey that you're like, well, I do, I respect it, I listen to it, it's like it, it's the voice of my mother. She gives good advice, it's a pretty wise monkey. Then those people will say, 
Well, my mother taught me not to be wasteful. That feels wasteful, and they will declare, look, I'm of multiple minds. There's me, there's these voices. But there's a lot of people just out there with the screaming monkeys that, shut up, faggot, you're just a burger. you just want to be cool, you just right about that. Out with it. Some of those accusations might be true, so why you bite your tongue? It's me versus the screaming monkeys. Okay, I hope this explained something crucial and important that you must understand to explain the future history you are about to live through.